Reading Through the Psalms Day 11 Psalm Chapter 11 In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, Flee as a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows on the strings, that they may shoot in the darkness at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord is on his throne in heaven, his eyes observe, his eyes examine the children of men. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked and him who love violence in his soul hates. On the wicked he will rain blazing coals, fire, sulfur, and scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteousness. The upright shall see his face. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will call to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been a refuge for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will dwell in your tent forever. I will take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life. His years shall be for generations. He shall be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your loving kindness and truth that they may preserve him. So I will sing praise to your name forever that I may fulfill my vows daily. Psalm 111 Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the counsel of the upright and in the congregation. The Lord's works are great, pondered by all those who delight in them. His work is honor and majesty. His righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He has given food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice. All his precepts are sure. They are established forever and ever. They are done in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has ordained his covenant forever. His name is holy and awesome. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who do his work have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. This series is part of 50 days of reading through the Psalms during the counting of the Omer, the time between First Fruits, or Resurrection Sunday, and Shavuot, also known as Pentecost. In the biblical feast of 50 days between the festival of First Fruits, or First Harvest, to Shavuot was also known as the counting of the Omer, the countdown from God's deliverance of Israel from their oppressors when they were finally free after the crossing of the Red Sea to the day of Shavuot in remembrance of the giving of the law. This was just a foreshadowing of the ultimate deliverance of Christ as Redeemer and Savior who was slain as a Passover lamb on Nisan 14 and rose again on that third day as the first fruits of all believers, delivering us from death just as the Israelites were delivered from certain destruction at the Red Sea. Instead of the giving of the law at the day of Pentecost, God again gave himself through the baptism of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. You can learn more about Pentecost and the Feast of Weeks at raisetowalk.org slash 26.